Hello everybody. Welcome back to the shop and the F14. Um, last little video I think I showed you guys free coat. Uh, a couple people asked me where to get it. The place I get it from is called Craden. Uh, K-R-A-Y-D-E-N. They're in Colorado. I tried to order it straight off the website, they didn't have the stuff in stock or the sizes I wanted, so I had to email them and ask them for pint sizes and stuff. I don't typically buy much more than a pint because once you get your molds uh, sealed and cleaned and sealed and everything, all you really use is the, the mold release and you don't use a whole bunch of it. A pint goes a long way. Um, I'm still on the first pint of the sealer and the mold release. And, uh, I've done three Hortons, all, well, three Hortons, one fuselage, a couple rudders, a wing panel. I mean, I've done a good bit of stuff on the F-14 as well, so it, it goes a long way. Um, as far as the fuselage and all goes, I've got the, all of the Arex parts cut out on the top of it. <laughs> as I get spoken over by the little guy. Um, all the Arex parts are cut out. All the glass layers and carbon fiber for the back, the back portion back here has been cut out. Uh, let's see what else. Um, fuel fly, all that stuff is out. Back and bags done. So the top back part is ready to go. Um, all the Arex templates for the front part here are done. All the Arex parts have been cut out. And uh, I'm gonna start doing glass layers right here in a few minutes. This is what so I'm taking, I'm taking it off right now, so I can do that. Um, I do have one surprise. I'll show you guys that here in a, here in a few minutes. Uh, they're washers. See, y'all think he helps, but, but not really. He just takes all that stuff and runs off with it. Alright. Let me pull this thing off and stick it on the table. I'm going to show you guys a surprise. No, it's not a fuselage. I know some of y'all probably wishing I had a fuselage done, but I don't have it, have it done yet. I'm working on it. Let me take the uh, tripod and all over here and show you guys what I've just been working on the past couple of days that I just mentioned and maybe I'll be a little surprised see my little wooden thingy here to hold my uh, five gallon bucket of epoxy and here we have the surprise this is the the top back half of the 14 fuselage so the first one um, I got like I said it's uh, two layers of glass with a carbon layer of carbon fiber back here where the horizontal stab and the vertical stab and all that stuff attach. The RX foam, some more carbon fiber, and then another layer of glass. Um, no one emailed me asking me what what type of glass or what weight or everything is. I've spent a lot of time researching and testing to figure out what my layup is. I've spent probably five or six hundred bucks on materials and just testing. No, I'm just kidding. It's only about $100. But uh, I'm not going to give it to you. <laughs> I just told you how many layers of each and whatnot, but everything else y'all got to figure out on your own. It's uh, a lot of money to figure this stuff out. And this still might not even work. That's the sad part about it is you won't know until you actually get the airplane up flying and get the part out to where you'll know if it's the weight and everything is to your satisfaction. Um, I'm, I'm pretty confident that this first part will work out perfectly. So, uh, wondering what I do with um, all those plastic, all the Airx templates and stuff. Let me show you over here. I've got a basically a trash can with plastic on both sides. Yellow stuff is the Airx and the white stuff is the fiberglass. So battery in the camera is going dead. So until next time, we'll see y'all back here in the shop with 
more fuselage going on. Have a good one.